Welcome to the stage, your fabulous host, the one and only Toby Hado. Well, hello, everybody. Nice. I'm not mean. That's what we want. If, I mean, if you want to get later, if you get drunk and you want to have a go, we'll we'll batter it back and forth, and um, it's fine. I'll win. Um, uh, you, uh, but let's not do that. You don't want to be on the rough end of the tongue of somebody who looks like an experiment where they failed to clone a geography teacher. So, uh, but I am, I, I am in, in fact uh, constructed entirely out of Marks and Spencers this evening. I'm modelling their new range of Guardian Reader at a summer fate. <laughs> Uh, no, you can, you can tell I'm middle class, you can tell I'm middle class, because uh, if you cut me open, I uh, probably wouldn't make too much of a fuss. <laughs> uh, you could be quite combative and you're like, oh, no, I don't want to do that, I don't, I'm not going to sort of stand here and go, where are you from? Oh, that's where idiots live. And, uh, What's your job? Oh, stupid people do that job. Uh, and, and hi, you're probably a shit. I've unleashed the personality. <laughs> in a box. What is this? <laughs> it's your 45th birthday, and you've been saving this up for the past five years. First date. Oh, good. I like your move, sir. You've brought her to a place where you're obliged not to have a conversation. I like that. <laughs> I'll get the other people to make her laugh and then I'll move in when she's relaxed and drunk at the end of the night. <laughs> I'm your lube. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, oh, this is the part, this is the equivalent of a fucking Facebook poke. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I've made the effort, but really, fuck all required. Good follicles. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go to the most inconvenient place. That's what I said. That's what I do. I, I wouldn't sneak in surreptitiously. I'd stand in front of me and go to the hardest place to get to. I think that would really assist the evening. Well done, you. Hello? Who the fuck are you? Don't worry if you don't know the difference between, say, oh, I don't know, um, the Autons and Girls Aloud. Uh, <laughs> I suspect you either fall into one camp or the other. Um, but you see, you know, the, uh, the Autons, you see, they're, they're faceless, plastic, manufactured creatures that... <laughs> Cause havoc in shopping centres, whereas girls are loud. Uh, but, but he knows everything about uh, skyscrapers. You know, daddy, 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 did you know the Empire State Building's 381 metres tall? It was completed in 1931 and it's got 73 lifts. I'm going, oh no, I've spawned a walking top trump. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it would be possible if you'd, well, if you'd be my internet provider? It's, it's perfect, it really is. I, I just seem to press all the right buttons and hey presto, there's as much nudity as I could ever want. <laughs> the hours just seem to <coughs> fly by. But all was not what it seemed. BT Broadband Help Desk, how can I help? Yes, I, I just don't seem to be able to get access as often as I used to. Sometimes my broadband just freezes on me, shuts me out with no explanations. I, I just don't know what to do. Perhaps I've, perhaps I've been taking it for granted. Maybe it's me, maybe I'm, I'm not doing something right. I, I just feel so inadequate. But soon those feelings turn to anger with terrible consequences. This is ridiculous! I've, I've been on hold for an hour and a half! Please, don't take that tone with me, sir. Have you checked your modem is working properly? Oh, it's always me, is it? It's never you! You didn't even tell me you were moving your technical support to India. Do you think I wouldn't notice? Do you not even think to consult me? I'm sorry if you're not satisfied. You haven't satisfied me for ages! To me, with a mischievous twinkle. As if to say, that's fuck all you can do, son. I'm the farting owl. There's a place for physical proximity. And it's in a consecrated bedroom, in the dark, and with muttered apologies and an inherent feeling of shame. <laughs> I'm just...
just go into the shop. I may be sometime. 